Hello, today we're going to take you on a tour of a standard balcony cabin aboard the Regal Princess. And the Regal Princess is more or less the same as the Royal, the Majestic, the Sky, Enchanted, and Discovery, all the Royal class ships. Hi y'all, I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together we're cruising good time. Today's video, we're going to go on the Regal Princess and tour cabin D526. We have sailed aboard the Regal Princess over 30 days and may have other videos of interest to you. They are located on our YouTube channel. You can find our YouTube channel by clicking on the link below uh, in the description. And you can click on that and that'll take us to our YouTube channel where you can see all our videos that we've made. Here we are walking into the cabin. At the end of this video, we're going to tell you how to optimize the use of your space inside this Princess cabin. So there's two nightstands, each have two drawers and a little cubby hole and a lamp. The room's quite spacious. We had our bed made up for a king bed and a flat screen TV there. Yeah, the lights are very handy in the cabin, lots of choices. I really like those princess beds. I find them very, very comfortable. I sleep very well on board. All the Royal class ships have a 220 volt outlet in addition to two 110 volt outlets in there and we're going to show you at the end how you make use of that 220 volt. Each cabin is equipped with a hair dryer. They're a little low on wattage but they do get the job done. There's three drawers over here on the desk uh, so there's more storage. The cabin has a tremendous amount of storage. And across the way is the mini fridge. We're elite members so it's stocked with the standard items. You also got three little shelves right there next to the mini fridge that are kind of useful too. The second nightstand. On the Regal Princess, there's not a USB port on the lamp to charge your phone, but uh, starting with the Enchanted and Discovery Princesses, those both have a USB-A port that you can charge your phone on instead of having to plug it in. Super handy. The closet is good sized, however you can see that it is a very open space. Beside the closet, there is this terrific cabinet. I love utilizing the storage in this space. There's a lot of storage in this cabinet. I, I agree with Becky. There's, you can store all sorts of uh, clothing in here. Hannon has a standard princess safe, and it's and it holds quite a bit. I mean, it's, we even put we have put a small laptop in some of these safes. So coming into the bathroom, you see across the way they have three shelves, two mirrors. All the typical things in a bathroom. There's a little bit of storage down on the, underneath the vanity if you're ready to need it. And here we have the eucalyptus hand soap and there is a hand lotion. Towel racks, the other facilities that are in the bathroom of course. And that nice large shower. I like that shower. The shower is much larger than the shower in the Princess Grand class ships. It's a terrific change. It's very good, and they're tall too. I'm six foot seven, and I can stand up in the shower. Have the string to uh, dry your clothes swimsuits with. For those who have seen our other videos on tours, this is my standard complaint on Princess. This shampoo is neither a good shampoo nor conditioner. Bring your own. Those of us with short hair don't quite notice it as yeah. badly. Yeah. And stepping out onto the balcony, It's a standard size uh, princess balcony. It looks cramped because the chairs are pushed forward. However, it, it's a comfortable sized balcony. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed many a glass of wine and breakfasts on our balcony. So one way we make use of the extra space in the cabin is I use a six way USB charger to charge all our USB charged equipment and you can get one that has universal voltage. You know it's universal voltage because it has this square within a square symbol there. And then I can take this and I get a European uh, outlet that converts my American plug into a, a European plug, plug it right in there. This way I don't tie up a 110 volt charger charging up USB equipment. And by the way, do not plug your curling iron in there. <laughs> <laughs> Another terrific thing that we have is, you know, there's a lot of papers that can be involved and we like having these magnets with the clips and we can like have our shore excursions all together or if we're saving copies of the Princess Patter, it just helps keep the room organized. 
We also like these um, hooks with magnets, so we can hang a few things that you typically grab as you're running out the door, uh, such as a hat. Those two things alone really keep the cabin organized by just getting the papers up and out of the way and organized and just a place to put hats and if you're in Alaska, like uh, windbreakers and raincoats. We use these pop-up pampers, just get them off Amazon and put them right over in the corner. Oh, this is one of my favorite things because that closet is open. So instead of like having this pile of dirty clothes, you're utilizing the hampers. And then Princess Cruise Lines has washers and dryers on board. So if, if you wish, you can then just carry your hamper on down and it helps, it makes it easier to do your laundry. Oh, so one of the princess amenities is the ropes. However, they don't show up on their own. You just have to ask your cabin steward to bring you one and he'll be happy to do so. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please give us a like and subscribe and please turn on those notifications. It really helps us out. Until next time, have a cruising good time.